Welcome back guys. In today's session we are going to learn how to create a warehouse and locators into the VNI Advantage system. So what basically the warehouse? The warehouse are basically the big buildings, big and empty buildings and designed in a way where you can store maximum number of products. So let's move on and see what's basically the warehouse. So warehouse is a large commercial building or a space used for the storage of goods and materials, typically for industrial or commercial purpose. It is designated to accommodate the movement and storage of large quantities of goods, often in pallets or containers, and may be equipped with specialized equipments such as forklifts, conveyor belts, and loading dock to facilitate the handling of these items. They are also used by manufacturers wholesalers, retailers and other businesses that require space for the storage of distribution of their products. So these are basically the warehouse and under the warehouse there are many locators. So you would be able to see many locators under a warehouse if you visit a physical warehouse. Now what is basically the locators are? A locator refers to a specific location within a warehouse where goods or products are stored. A locator can be have been shelf, pallet rack, or any other designated storage space where items are kept. The purpose of using locator is to make it easier to find and retrieve specific items from a warehouse. Each item is assigned a unique locator code or identifier, which is used to track its location within the warehouse. This allows warehouse staff to quickly locate and retrieve items when they are needed, reducing the item, reducing the time and effort required to fulfill orders or manage inventory. Using a locator system can also help to optimize warehouse space utilization and improve inventory accuracy. By organizing products into a specific locator, it becomes easier to keep track of how much inventory is on hand, where it is located when it is needs to be replenished or moved to a different location. So these are basically the locators. Let's move on to the VA system and we will try to create one warehouse and locators. So I'm at my login screen. Let's log in and search the warehouse window using the menu search utility okay so we'll search warehouse and locators and you can see there is a default locator gets generated automatically as a result of tnn generation process and here if you want to create a new warehouse and you need to click here warehouse so i will give the name as hq Warehouse 2. I'll copy and save. You need to define the addresses. There might be a possibility that the location of the warehouse is different. So I can say India and it is going to be this. And you need to define if there is a certain source warehouse, then you would be able to define a source warehouse. If you want to define any recognition fulfillment rules, then you would be able to define. If you don't want to allow that the negative inventory is allowed within the system while processing the transaction, then mark this allow negative inventory. If this warehouse allows for the blanket orders or not, the warehouse is responsible for the drop shipments or not, then you need to mark all these checkbox, otherwise you just need to save. But the important thing is you just always need to define a legal entity here. Okay. So you just need to save and move on to the locator. And here you would be able to import a number of locators or you would be able to define the locators manually. So let's say locator 1. I would say locator 1. And what's going to be the aisle, bay, row? So I would say Presently 0, 0, 0. And we just need to check box. We need to check on a default checkbox. 
So under each warehouse minimum one locator is marked as default. So in such a way I would be able to define now n number of locators. And two is going to be one, one, one. And I would say the next tab of the storage is a reads only tab. It is system maintained and gets updated when you do the transaction into the system. There is certain container storage detail would be there. That is again a read only tab and gets updated by the system based on the settings. And at the end, if you want to define your replenishment rule for the certain products for this warehouse, then you would be able to define your replenishment rules. So there are going to be two replenishment rules that is reorder below minimum level and maintain maximum level. We'll cover this into the next session somewhere. Uh, about how to replenish products uh, and uh, we'll generate a separate video since there is going to be a replenishment report there are certain other transactions to be generated presently we are only covering the masters so that later on when we will create the business use cases into the system then we would showcase you this replenishment step as well in this video so far is about the warehouse and the locator, uh, locator generations. I hope after going through with this video, you would be able to configure your warehouse and locators into the BA system. And you are able to generate these without any problem. Thanks for now. We'll see you into the end of the video where with some other masters will cover. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.